Hey everyone, in case you don't know me already, my name is Erin Gifford. I have been a graphic designer for, gosh, 17 years already. Um, and I just recently, um, a couple years ago, started um, a video blog and teaching people how to use my two favorite software, um, design softwares, Illustrator and Photoshop. So uh, I have a new tutorial for you today. And this one is all Photoshop, um, however I will link below in the comments or in the description. I also have already done a tutorial um, in the Illustrator version, but we are going to be, I'm going to show you how to do a mock-up today. I had the question come through via email, um, like a how to wrap an image around another image. And this was the first example that I thought of. Um, you know, if you design a logo and let's say your customer wants to put it on something like you see on the screen now, a tumbler or a mug, and you know, if you were just to paste it on there, it's going to look really square and it's not going to look right. So I'm going to show you how to um, create a, a mock-up where your artwork kind of wraps around the object. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and grab my logo first from Illustrator. Um, you can um, use a raster logo too. I'm just going to copy that. And okay, so I have my um, background image here and I'm going to do a control V to paste. And I'm going to um, just paste it as pixels. And oh, it's super small. So I'm going to hold the shift key down. And enlarge my logo and I don't want it to be wider than my mug so I'm gonna make it just a hair smaller because honestly I've worked in the promotional product industry um, I'm gonna double click to set that um, I've worked in the promotional product industry and I can tell you that their imprint areas are never wider than the object. So um, we are going to make our logo just a little bit smaller than the object that it's going on. But like I was saying before, you can tell that this looks fake to me because it's not, it, it's straight. It's not rounding with the surface of the cup. So in order to make this visually um, real, what we want to do, let's just go over to our layer panel and you can see I want to show you that once you paste your logo um, into the document you now have two layers so you want to make sure that you have your logo layer selected and then we're going to go up to edit down to transform and then right here in the middle where it says warp so what this does is it, it grids off our artwork. And if you look, the corners are, are squares. Let's um, zoom in here. Edit, transform, warp. So the corners have squares, but you can see that the inside lines of the grid have circles. And what that does is if you, if you hover over one of these circles and you click and you drag you can see all of a sudden now you have handlebars and we are warping we can warp from corner to corner our artwork so in this case we want to go with the roundness of the cup so I always hold my shift key down just so that I don't screw a different Part, um, a different side of it up so I hold my shift key down to keep the person um, what do I want to say keep the proportion right and I'm just going to drag that down a little bit to create a curve and I'm going to do the same thing from the other corner just a little bit of a curve you know you can stretch it in stretch it out so you kind of have to be careful here mess up my sides. I just want to create a little curve. And then I am going to do the same thing down at the bottom here. I'm just going to curve this bottom line of text just a little bit. Okay. 
I still feel like the top is a little bit too curved. And this is bugging me too. I feel like this needs to come in a little bit. So you can play around with this warp until it looks good to you. And then to apply your warp, just double click, double click in the middle. Uh, okay, so that's not working. So we just go to select another tool and then it asks if we want to apply. So just hit apply and we're going to zoom out. And there we go. Um, now you can adjust your warp more or less depending on what you think. Um, I actually think maybe we could do a little bit more. So let's do edit warp. I'm just going to give it just a little bit more curve here at the top and bring these corners up. There we go. Apply. Okay, so there we go. And if you compare this to the beginning versus the end, let's see, okay. So there's what we started with and here's what we ended with. We were just we warped it and distorted it enough just to create that optical illusion that it is wrapping around a round object. So if you have any questions, um, any problems, go ahead and reach out to me. There's links below. Um, I'm also going to link up the where you can sign up to get free tutorials, um, all of my tutorials week by week delivered right to your inbox if that's something you're interested in and also I'm gonna throw the subscribe button out there so go ahead and subscribe if you are on your journey to being um, more comfortable in Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop I will show you the ropes so um, until next time have a great week